Hey, I'm Chris Berman. Coming up on ESPN, a few years as a 240 hitter were enough to convince Drew Henson he should give the NFL a try. He's back under center. How much will his absence affect him? We get a good look here. Cowboys, Ravens, next. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Welcome to MT Bank Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens. Covering today's game with me is my buddy Peter O'Keefe. Peter, there is an air of desperation here that you can just feel. Well, that happens when a team is facing elimination from the playoffs. No, this game is a must win. I expect them to play their hearts out today. It should make for one heck of an exciting game. And now let's go down to the coin toss. It's tails. Billy Cundit kicking off for the Cowboys. The ref gets the signal, it's and we're set. Raven football. Cundit kicks it off to begin the game. Duff fields it all the way back at the one. Tackle at the 22. Montez Duff was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Ravens offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 22-yard line. Singleton gets the sack at the 19. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. Well, we've got some notable injuries this season. Teams are doing their best to put their best team on the field each week, but the injuries are piling up. There's no avoiding it. The key is to have depth in your roster and just hope for the best. The Cowboys draw the quarterback with just three linemen. Second <laughs> and bad 13. things do come in threes after all. Peter, they put an end to that play well in the backfield, and they had a real good read on it. All well, starts with the guys up front. And then everybody follows. Second down the coming Lewis. up. The ball Lewis carrier. picks up about two, and that brings up tackle. third down. Jamal Lewis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much third of a game 11. there, and they will face all third down. Third and long, too, then. Big play coming up. Third down, empty backfield. Third. Catches it over the middle and is at the 40. Finally stopped at the 43. That will bring up first down. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. First and ten. Ball at the Ravens' 43-yard line. Bolo tips it to the left sideline, and the it's tipped. Incomplete. incomplete. Mike McKenzie, Mike McKenzie the flex. wanted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will be a second down. Lewis gets the handoff, and he gains about three yards. Third down and five wide receivers All take the field. Right, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. Bolo throws this on a rope, and it's caught at the 50. Got in, made the save, that dropping win. the ball carrier the before he could get to the markers. That's his second tackle so far. Des Doodle gets ready to punt this away. Number 21 to make the return. <laughs> Destoodle takes the snap and punts it away. The Cowboys offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Drag down at 
the 25. The ball carrier, Anthony Weaver with the tackle. Second down Second with the tight five. end right. Ball at the Cowboys, 25 yard line. No, as his number called on second down and gains about three yards. Loma throws a heater right sideline and they convert on third down. Deshaun Johnson made first the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. A big game first on and third, and they will easily oh, move the chains. Perfect oh, call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Oh, 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 the 28. Oh, 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 the in the pocket. That's going to be a sizable loss. Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's going to push him back. Way back. Great defensive play. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to do a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Loma throws this one right side line, and the ball's loose. Touchdown at the 36. Torrin Tucker in panic when the ball got loose, and that was why he was able to reel it back in the boat. First down, Cowboys. Touchdown at the 48. First down. Tony Romo improvised on that last play by scrambling to freedom and he gained a few yards while he was at it. First and ten. Ball at the Cowboys, 48 yard line. Romo uncooks this to the left sideline and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Corey Fuller eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually stops them, but way past the marker, that one's going to hurt. And Peter, that play doesn't get off the ground unless ten. he runs a very Ball precise run. And he had to to beat his man. Couple of the best, banging heads there. First down, 10 yards to go. Woodson had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Palmer has a report. Susie. Thank you, Dan. The team doctor's diagnosis is that he may have torn his ACL. They're looking at him Second right now. Nine. He seems to be Ball in serious pain. The official world has returned. Doubtful. Dan, it's you. Thanks, Susie. Well, rifles it out left side, and it's caught just barely past the markers for a first. First down, Harry Glenn is someone that can really blow by you. Ninth year man out of Ohio State. This guy's so quick, he leaves skid tracks. You gotta bump him at the line and hope he doesn't get by, or give him a big cushion. Otherwise, you'll just be trying to catch up. First and ten. Ball up to 23. <laughs> Glenn uses it left sideline and Cowboy. gets past the markers for a first down. Terry Glenn made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. Fantastic first catch, and, and he is putting All up great up. numbers. Got that right, Dan. He's now got 40 yards on three catches. Anderson goes in motion. Gets the call on first down and rambles for about five. Number 47 with the tackle. Baby, look at him eat up the yardage here. 
Peter, he gets the touchdown, and there is no better way to cap off a play than like that. Yeah, nothing better than points, Dano. Billy Cundiff to attempt the extra point. Number nine, holding. Here's the extra point. The extra and point is good. It's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Pundit kicks this one away. Duff fields the kickoff at the one. Montez Duff got way late by the defense before he was able to put much on the run back. The Ravens stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 20-yard line. Ricard goes in motion. <laughs> Second down. Jamal Lewis played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Peter, what a nice pickup to get two. them into a second and short All situation. A great play, line. and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Lewis hits the ball again and searches for a hole. Oh, the the 30. The low level brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. They hold pretty firm there, and they've got to do it again on third, third and short. Inches. Third down ball and less than a yard. yard line. Lewis is at the 40. First down from the Ravens. 46. It will be first down. Paul Lewis plays some smash mouth football here. Bam! What a punishing shoulder charge. What a run, man. He is generating some great numbers. Oh, yeah, he's running hard. And up to now, he's got 39 yards on five carries. Lewis takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. No one in front of him. Ten. Yards. It's worth the second look. Yeah, avoiding a tackle with a slip on is one way to do it. Either that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. So far, he's got 85 yards and one touchdown. Now the point after, and the extra point is good. good. Decides to take it out of the end zone. Goes free. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 38. A 71 yard kick and a 62 yard return. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Are you back? Cowboys had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at the 38-yard line. Loma tips it to the left side first line, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Tony Romo makes a risky pass here and completes it. That took guts, Dan. Check it out. Oh, a perfect pass, and it had to be accurate to get in there between the two defenders. First and ten. Ball at the 26 yard line. Jones will get the carry on first down and choose up about four on the play. Six. 
Second down, Second and two wideouts on the field. Ball at the 22 yard line. Anthony Weaver targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Touchdown, Cowboys. Catches the lob. Touchdown. And... Tony Romo brings this one perfectly. Great pass, great catch, great play. Let's have another look. Bullseye, what a precise throw. They keep doing plays like this, and he could be in big trouble. Billy Peter, that's his first touchdown game. pass of the game. Number nine. Stats look. Well, so far, he's got 106 yards and one the touchdown. Point is good. It's good. it off. Smith hatches it back at the 10. Eventually, shot at the 42. Musa Smith is going to take this well-kicked ball off to the races. He found a seam and some blocking and a few nice moves to boot. Nice return. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. Bowler just rifles this one, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Out of bounds Cowboys. at the 20. I'm coming out. Newman has a monster play for the D. He picks off the ball here and then takes it downfield for a huge game. Man, you cannot coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Cowboys are going to try and capitalize on the interception. He'll start this drive at the 20 yard line. Johnson first drives down, the Cowboys. road right side and gets past the markers for a first down. Deshaun Johnson had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. Great job fighting for that first down. Oh, he didn't waste any time. Well, just because the pass is short of the markers, it doesn't mean he can't run up the rest of the way. He's a true competitor. Well, Gary back throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Tony Romo had no trouble zooming that one goal. past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Another short, controlled pass for the completion. The short game has been pretty good. About eight six oh, yards. Yeah. They haven't been nickel and diming them, but they've been nickeling them. Jones gets the toss and will gain close to six. Julius Jones got yards by staying so close to his blockers. I think they were sharing each other's aftershave. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down, down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Touchdown! Billy Cundit to attempt the extra point. Number nine, Colby. Here's the point after. The extra and point is good. It's good. The ref gets the signal and we're set. Pundit kicks it off. Not out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ravens offense has to score here. This drive will start at their own 23-yard line. <laughs> Lewis picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. 
Jamal Lewis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't eight. give up much at all on that Ball last play. Not much there. Yards. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get there. But they were Lewis takes it for Jamal his Lewis. eighth carry and maybe picks up Death one on the play. The Jamal Lewis played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Well, not much of a game there, and they will face seven. third down. Third and All long, too, James. Big play yard. coming up. Look at the numbers generated on the ground. That is impressive. Williams tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Roy fourth down coming up. Roy Williams came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. It sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Zastoodle gets the snap and punts it away. Jones fields the punt at the third line. Stopped at the 49. Julius Jones seized some prime field position for his offense with that huge run back. Uh, they needed that, especially First after that nice punt. Dallas. Cowboys come out on offense and are well ahead. They have another shot to score and start this drive at the 49-yard line. Jones down is at the 40. Eventually tackled at the 27. It will be first down. First and ten. Ball at the twenty-seven. Walmart fires this one over the middle, and first the down, catch is Calvary. made at the eleven. Chase down at the eight. It'll be first and goal. Terry Glenn took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. Beautiful catch, Peter, and his stats are moving up. Moving way up, Dan. He's now got 71 yards on six catches. First and goal. Well, there's the millennium mark. Oh, a thousand yards. yards this season. What a player. Johnson <laughs> is in for a touchdown. <laughs> Intercepts the football. Let's go. Ravens climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Singleton penetrates and stops that back at the 19. Al Shaman Singleton not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished second it, too. Big hit for a loss. That's Ball's his second tackle yards. so far. Hey, Dan, look there. Great pickup yards after the first hit. He catches it in the flat, and that's good for a gain of five. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second Dexter down. Dexter Coakley was lined up on the ball, and the ref called him second on it. Six. That's a neutral zone infraction. Ravens, 24-yard line. Lewis picks up six on the play, and that will bring up third down. Jamal Lewis almost got the first, but went out of bounds really early, Dan. That white line isn't just a helpful guideline like those, you know, the divided parking spaces. You gotta stay inside it. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Lewis gets the call again, and he heads left. 30, 20, 10, and he's in for the touchdown. Everything worked out to perfection. Look at the fluidity of the running style. There's no wasted motion there. What a play. That was his second rushing touchdown. Now the point after, and the extra point is good. This one deep. Jones decides to take it out of the end zone. Three, 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 three. Well, Peter, 
some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Look at the drive results, and you can see that they're getting it done and have punched the ball into the end zone. Nice work so far. First and Cowboys ten. were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 23-yard line. Oh, my. Floats this one out to the right sideline. And this one is incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver. Not Tony Roman showing off some precision passing out there, Dan. Clearly, he's exploiting the short game so far, and he's got 122 yards and... Second and 10. Ball at the Cowboys, 22 yards. And catches the heater left sideline, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Harry Glenn had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. They've been having some real success by keeping him on the left side of the field, Peter. Yeah, and that's because of the great routes he's been running. Loma throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not real in, incomplete. Deshaun Johnson had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Well, third is such a crucial down game. And they will convert. They will. Really Number 37 turn it gets it on at the, the 31. Brought down at the 33. Number 37 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Ravens offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll stop at the 33 yards. Is it for the 12th time and picks up the first down. Nice gain on this play. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Nice one, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 173 yards on 12 carries. First down, two receivers to the left. This one will fall That's incomplete. incomplete. With the deflection. Second and ten. Ball at the Ravens' 44-yard line. Bowler rifles it out left side, and the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Third down, empty backfield. Keep didn't haul that one incomplete. in, and it falls incomplete. Oh, that will bring up fourth receiver. down. Jock Reeves was with, with the, the receiver cover. all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. Peter, the defense, stood tall and forced the incompletion, but I don't understand that call. Uh, they wouldn't have gotten much at all, even if it was complete. Fourth down either way, and it might turn into a bad call. Back to 23. Julius Jones didn't have much room to work with First back there. And special team Dallas. squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Cowboys are looking for some separation before the start this drive at their own 23 yard line. Whitten catches it in the flat and Second picks and up eight. maybe a yard. Jason Whitten had two guys on him on that play, but still managed to make it. I think the short game was working for them. Moving the forward a little at a time. Nick Nolan got on the field. Peter Bowler got the sack, but he was totally unblocked. You need to at least lay a hand on someone to slow him down a bit. He gets the assist, and he now has one half of a sack for the game. Third down and four wideouts in the game. That's his number four on third down, and can't convert the third down. That will bring up fourth down. Number one lines up to punt after the three and out. Number one takes the long snap and punts it away. Number 37 fields the deep punt at the The Cowboys have stopped cold, but it doesn't matter. They have the first down at the 31. And that'll do it for the first That's half the of this of the one. Cowboys are out in front, 21 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. 
Look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Cowboys should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Kyle Baller would find his target on this one. The boys ended the first quarter already in the red zone. Famous Amos Zeroway got the carry here, and he comes through. A six-yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The Raven trying to answer back. Ravens down by seven. Jamal Lewis got the carry here. Once he found a lane, he was gone. They knotted up, seven all. The boys come right back. Tony Romo connected with his man on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the Cowboys. Cowboys ahead, 14 to seven. Terrence Newman was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The boys still early in the second quarter. The Cowboys already inside field goal range. Jason Witten would find a way to get open, and the pass was right on the money. A two-yard touchdown for the Cowboys. The boys midway through the second. Cowboys ahead by 14. Gary Baxter is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. Ravens still middle of the second. Jamal Lewis is going to take this one to the outside. And once he gets the corner, it's a foot race. A 70-yard touchdown for the Ravens. And that's where we'll leave this one. Ravens are in a shootout, 21 to 14. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Jamal Lewis has played like a man possessed. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Cowboys will receive to Matt start Stover, the second half, the and they currently enjoy a small lead, 21 to 14. Let's get down to the field and the action. Number 32 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense takes the field, and they will start out at the lone 20 yard line. Logan throws a bullet, and it's complete at the 24. First down, and down at the 36. That will bring up first down. Harry Glenn enhances this catch with a little move. Right there. I love to watch him work. It looks like he managed to outmuscle the defender there, which is a surprise because he's not known for his strength. That yeah, surprised me too, especially oh, against oh, one of the most agile yards. defenders on the field. Well, I like those things. Great receiving yards. They'll get the handoff and choose up about four Paul on the player. Edgerton Hartwell with the tackle. Second and five. Ball at the Cowboys, 40 yards. One tips it to the left side line, and this one is incomplete. Gary Baxter is shadowing very closely, close enough that the pass is incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Down the right sideline, and they get the first on third and long. Don't let him move like that. Come on, Ravens. Antonio Bryant had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, first Peter. Ten. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. Anderson goes in motion. Picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the 26-yard line. Hill comes back to the missile and gets past the markers for a first down. Tony Romo had no first trouble down seeing Cowboys. that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. Another short pass, and he first likes that area of the field so far. Oh, why not? He's had success there. Oh, and that will bring up 
second and down. Three with the tackle. Second and seven. Ball at the 13. And no good. Incomplete. Gary Baxter kept both eyes on the short out on that one and caused his incomplete bounce. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the deep is supposed to play. Loma throws a ball into the back. Sean Johnson got a kick out back there to get three, but the pass is incomplete. That's the third incompletion his way, Peter. Yeah, he's starting to look a little frustrated down there, too. Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. Appended from 30 yards out. The field goal is good. good. Billy Cumbia puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Billy Cundiff kicking off for the Cowboys. There's the signal, and we're ready. Cundiff kicks this one away. Smith fields the kickoff at the 7. the 30. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has given great news in mind. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. Lisa Smith got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Ravens get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 30 yard line. He's just barely past the markers for a first. Kyle Bowler threaded the ball back there to his man. Right past all that traffic. Good job. Ineligible receiver, number 78, offense. Five-yard penalty, repeat first down. Orlando Brown got hit by the ball. He wasn't expecting it, didn't mean to, but first unfortunately he was an ineligible receiver, ball and that's a penalty. First down with the tight end, right. Copley blast him back at the 34. Kyle Bowler has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan, and he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 38 yards and one interception. Second and 16. Ball at the Ravens' 34-yard line. Bowler passes on. The markers for the first down. Kyle Bowler brings it across the field and finds his man. That, my friends, is a strong arm. And Peter, we've talked before about what kind of an impact a big receiver can have on a football game. That's right, Dan. A lot of people still associate receivers with speed, but right here, height was what did it. Lewis fixes it in the flat first and down, gets past the Ravens. markers for a first down. Jamal Lewis knew the yardage ferry wasn't going to move the football for him, so he powered ahead for more after making the catch. Love to see that kind of effort. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Hey, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, Jamal but you will see him make plays off those shorter Number catches. There's a bullet to the flat, and it's complete for a gain of three yards. Jamal Lewis had a defender close by, but Second was able to seven. bring down the catch. Ball That's the another winky-ding pass that hardly seems worth throwing. Completions are fine and all, Dan, but you got to move the ball. Copley makes a play on this and forces the Dexter incompletion. The deflection. Dexter Copley came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception. Lead. That is their fourth Third batted seven. ball. Tell you, we've Ball seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Darling goes in motion. <laughs> Bowler zings it to the right side. And he connects First at the 19. And he's stopped right there. First down. 
Kyle Bono led this passing beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for them. They make a completion, but their short game doesn't seem to be worth the time they're investing in. Well, even when they finally do connect, it's not really moving the ball. They need to think bigger. Lewis gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Second and seven. Ball at the 17. Bolo throws a heater right sideline and it's incomplete. incomplete. Dexter Copley was on the short out from the get-go on that last play and was able to get in there and make sure it was incomplete. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. He makes the catch. Touchdown! He has a guy shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man Cole. It's all about sticking your turf. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually beats it. Here's the extra point, and the extra point is good. good. The left gets the signal, and the set. Stover blooms up beauty here. Jones downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Anderson goes in motion. Jones has his number called on first down. He picks up a couple. Julius strange. got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still second couldn't make a play out of it. Not All much there. Elbows, It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get there, but they were you know, hoping for more. Second down with a split backfield. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab. And watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. The Raven offense has taken the field, and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off with a 16-yard line. Lewis will get stopped at the line, the and that will bring up second down. Dexter Copley with the tackle. Dexter Copley was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle of the contest. He didn't hold Passes that one in, in, and it falls Paul incomplete. Was the intended receiver. Third down, one man Dad down. Win with the coverage. Bowler offers it on the left side and the completion is made. Early markers, however, it'll be fourth down. Fourth down in the field goal unit is on the field. Stover from 26 yards out and it's good. That's Stover, a bit of a short one through the uprights. Hey, it's three points no matter how close you are. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for them. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. Number 32 decides to take it out of the end zone. Number 32 took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little first risky, he gets out down. close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on this play. Cowboys still out of We'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at the long 20-yard line. Loma fires this one over the middle, and it is not in incomplete. Tony O'Brien got open on that last play with a slant route, but couldn't bring the ball in. That was a rare incompletion, Peter. This passing game has shown very few weaknesses. Well, we better find some because there's still over a quarter left to play. Number one lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Number one gets the snap and punts it away. Number 37 feels it at the 49. Drag down at the 50. Number 37 got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. 
Ravens offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at the 50-yard line. Lewis takes this one way up. First pass is into a first down. Jamal Lewis got some big yards on that last play with a spectacular hurdle, and that's how you turn the average play into a great What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 193 yards on 16 carries. He's up over 1,000 yards now, as you can see. No season for his first Lewis takes it off the toss and picks up the first down. Lewis sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Nice one, Peter. And he's putting together some very nice snaps. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 207 yards on 17 carries. So, three quarters in the books now, and we're all tied. First down, two First wideouts ten. on the field. Ball at the 18-yard line. Brings up second down. Second and five. Oh, look at those numbers. Oh, That's how to get it done on the ground. Ricard goes in motion. <laughs> Ellis tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Greg Ellis not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Now, we have to see. the bowling balls. Todd Heath had three guys covering him, but look what happens. Incredible catch. Peter, there's another catch. And for a tight end, he sees the ball quite a bit. Well, he's one of those guys that's more of a receiver than a tight end, Dan. He's got such great hands that he'll get the ball a lot during this game. Lewis gets the toss and runs into traffic. The penalty is the clock. He's in the score the is good. Matt Stover to attempt the extra point. Dave Zastuda holding. Now the extra point. And the extra point is good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Stover rockets this one deep. Jones downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Cowboys offense comes out and finds themselves losing for the first time in the game. This drive will start at their own 20 yard line. Anderson goes in motion. He chases him and mops him back at the 19. his arm into this one and it's tipped. Incomplete. I knew he couldn't have that play any better than this tattoo on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure. That's his incomplete. Peter Bowler doesn't need any assistance to force the incompletion here. That is just textbook zone coverage, people. Absolutely, Dan. And it begins with knowing how the play is going to come together. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. Well, that was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Well, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Tackle at the 40. Number 37 got pinned on, deep just by a beauty of a kick there. And by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Ravens will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at their 40-yard line. Lewis didn't haul Passes that incomplete. one in, and it falls incomplete. Lewis was the intended receiver. Kyle Bowler knows how to the spread cover. the ball around, as you can see by this passing chart. He's getting the ball into his receiver's hands and has piled up 122 yards and one touchdown. Second and 10. Ball at the Ravens' 40-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. 
Lewis will get the carry on second down and chews up about four on the play. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. Third down, three wideouts in the game. All at the Ravens, 44-yard line. McKenzie puts a Passes lick on the receiver complete. and separates Number him from the ball. Incomplete. Receiver. That will bring up Mike fourth McKenzie down. With the cover. Zastoodle lines up to punt after the three and out. <laughs> Zastoodle gets the ball and punts it away. Jones fair catches it at the 17. First the Cowboys ten. haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at the own 17 yard line. Jones takes his 13th carry of the game and maybe picks up one on the play. Johnson goes in motion. away from the receiver incomplete number 37 was shadowing very closely close enough that the pass was incomplete and peter general managers nowadays really love to find those tall receivers don't they and you saw why right down there the that's the old tony romo saw nothing happening so he decides to scramble for it and he turns This one out to the right sidelines and gets intercepted. Gary Baxter, that's why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. The Ravens are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 48 yard line. the first down and a whole lot more. Travis Taylor. Lewis up four yards and that will bring up second down. Newman was shaken up earlier and I, I hear Susie Culver has second a report for us. Susie? Thanks Dan. He came off the field complaining of back pain and the trainers are saying he's got a bruised lower back erasing the injury in an effort to ease the pain, but it doesn't seem to be that effective. The official word on his return is doubtful. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. He makes the catch in the flat and gains a couple. Third down, both tight ends left. Lewis will get the carry on third down and passes the line. Chad Eaton brought down the ball carrier Chad before Eaton. the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. That's his third tackle of the game. Fourth down and less than a yard. Stover from 26 yards out, and it's through the uprights. Matt Stover with that one so wide, it would almost hit the upright, but luckily the kick was good. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Stover booms a beauty here. Number 32 downs this in the end zone for a touchback. Whoa, look at all the interceptions there. <laughs> Gary Baxter shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. Incomplete pass. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Throws a bullet to the flat and it falls incomplete. Gary Glenn would have had some room on the outside on that play if only he had made the catch. Incomplete. Incomplete. That would have made for a bit shorter third down play, but not much. Tony Romo had no one to throw to, so he just tucked it under and went for it. It's worth an... First down First with the eight. tight end, White. Ball at the Cowboys, 40 yards. Romo, throws a hitter. First down, Cowboys.
Antonio Bryan had three guys covering him on this play. First and ten. Ball at the 46. First down, the Cowboys. Jason Witten had three guys covering him on this play, and he still made the catch. First and ten. Ball at the 30 yard line. Anthony Weaver forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield back there. That'll be his first sack of the game. Johnson catches it over the first middle down and he's got the first down. Deshaun Johnson has a small crowd of defenders working him in, yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad First things come in threes, but that didn't all seem like three. that was bad at all. Not really annoying, but definitely not bad. I'm glad he Cuts finally nailed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept really throwing it his way. Throwing, throws a bullet Number to the nine, flat, four. and it's caught for a touchdown. <laughs> now the point after, the extra point is good. it's good. Billy Cundiff kicking off for the Cowboys. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Cundiff kicks this one away. Duff fields it all the way back at the one. Stop at the 29. Duff, Edwin Thompson. Raven, offense takes the field with time winding down. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. Lewis will get stopped at the line, and carrier. that will bring up second down. Roy Williams with the tackle. Roy Williams was a one-man wrecking crew second back there. Ten. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. It's tackle number six for him. Good game so far. Definitely. Lewis gets the call on second down and rambles for about five. Third and six. Wow, look at All those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Ricard goes in motion. Third down, both wide outs to the right. First time out. Zastoodle gets ready to punt this away. Punt formation. Number 21 to make the return. Zastoodle gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Jones takes it at the 19. Stop at the 28. Really strong. Return for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page of war and peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. Cowboys start this First drive down, of the game Cowboys. from well in their own territory, and the clock at 147. Number 84 makes the catch out to the All left, Cowboys. and he's got the first. The clock continues to tick down. Number 84 had nobody on him. The first down, Cowboys. And got the ball to him. Slides down, and the clock keeps ticking away. First down. Tony Romo decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Reed puts That's a leg on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Second down, the clock is stopped at 110. Romo gets some air under this pass if he connects at the 16. And he's stopped right there. It will be first down. First down, 10 yards to go. All at the 16 yard line. Pulls it in right Calvary. side and manages to hold on after the punishing hit. First Look at it. Great receiving yards there. Oh, that will help your fantasy team. Gets 
touchdown Cowboys. It's the go-ahead touchdown. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That touchdown will give him the lead late in the game. What a play. you got to love it. Here's the point after. The extra point is good. It's good. Straight up. There's the signal, and we're ready. London kicks it off. Smith fields the kickoff at the one. One man to beat. Finally gets out of bounds. Musa Smith is going to take this well-kicked ball off to the races. Raven will start this drive near midfield with the clock at 14. Number 84 grabs the rope like the Ravens take their first time out. Second down, the clock is stopped at nine. Bowler rifles it out left side and it's off incomplete. Holding, number 78, offense. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Orlando Brown. Repeat second down. His man back there. Offensive holding was the right call. Second down and five wide receivers take the field. The Ravens will take a timeout. That's their second. Third down from the shotgun. Bowler rifles this one hard over the middle, and it's tipped. Incomplete. And that is going to do it for this one. The Cowboys come out on top, 38 to 34. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Alright Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN Video Games Post Game Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Cowboys stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Antonio Bryant comes up with a big play here on third down. He's able to work himself free. That set up a 30-yard field goal. The Cowboys move ahead by 10. The Ravens answering right back. The Ravens on offense at the 18. Kyle Baller would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. A 17-yard touchdown for the Ravens. Cowboys leading by three. Peter Booyah would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Ravens have it off an interception. Matt Smokey Stover would come on and connect on the field goal try. A 27-yard field goal. Game tied, 24 all. Jamal Lewis get up ahead of steam and then it was clear sailing from there. An 18-yard play that set up a Raven touchdown. The boys on defense, Gary Baxter, is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Ravens, after getting an interception, Ravens out in front by seven. Kyle Bowler would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. They're now up by 10. The boys answer right back. Keyshawn Johnson is gonna find an opening in the secondary and he'll exploit it here. A 32-yard play that set up a Cowboy touchdown. Cowboys losing 34 to 31. Tony Romo is back to throw. This is nothing more than a little pitch and catch with his wide receiver. A 31-yard play that set up a Cowboy touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Cowboys squeaked out a win, 38 to 34. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Tony Romo is on hand with Susie Culver. Suze? 
Thank you, Chris. You played great today, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What was the key to your success? You know what? This team believes in each other, and we believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Fortune just smiled on us today, and we were able to triumph in the end. Chris, back to you. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman.